Hello, video maniacs of all shapes, sizes, and colors. This is Practice Dummy. In this video, I'm going to show you on how to add some mods to Chrono Cross to make it look a bit better, and um, hopefully it'll add some real enjoyment to the game. A bit disappointed that Squaresoft didn't take it upon themselves to remaster it um, to make it look uh, better than you know basically the PlayStation era <laughs> that the game was uh, made for for the original PlayStation but it is what it is okay uh, one thing about the mods uh, they are going in a particular order one is uh, the first one will be a utility mod and then there will be like I think about three groups of mods uh, the first one is the largest and it's where you alter one particular game file and then a few for another game file, and I think one or two other game files that also will be altered as a result. Okay, the first thing first, uh, you must have uh, Chrono Cross installed. Say Chrono Cross the Radical Dreamers. For the, uh, the game itself. And then also... You either have to have 7-Zip, which I highly recommend. It's free to download. Just type in your search engine and download 7-Zip. Or if you have WinRAR, that should work as well. I will be using 7-Zip as the um, go-to program to uh, handle uh, smotting Chrono Cross. Okay. After you got the game installed, it's probably a good idea to go ahead, and I'm not 100% sure this will affect anything, but run it once, uh, just to the menu, and you know, set your settings how you want it, and then exit out of the, uh, the game there. Now, for this will be for NVIDIA uh, video card users. For those of you that have AMD cards, just do your best to find the similar function that I'll be pointing to on the NVIDIA control panel. But go ahead and right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel or access it however you normally want to. And uh, we want to go into program settings tab and that's under the manage 3D section. Go into program settings and if uh, you gotta go and you want to click on add and what you want to look for is the uh, chronocross.exe file and I know there's a bunch of stuff here that shows the uh, path to it but uh, for normal Steam users you'll go into C and if you're following Steam's instructions where to install Steam you'll be going from C to Steam to Steam Apps, Common, and then look for the Chrono Cross uh, Radical Dreamers Edition. Now I put mine in a different um, drive, but um, let me go ahead and show you what that folder will look like. And right here, Ignore the second uh, folder here. This is a backup folder of myself, but it'll say in all capitals, Chrono Cross, the Radical Dreamers Edition. And in fact, we'll go ahead and have that open up and just go inside and we'll leave it right there. Um, but you're looking for the chronocross.exe file. This is what you want to add, not the launcher and not the Radical Dreamers exe. You want the chronocross.exe, that's where you want to point as far as the program settings in NVIDIA goes. So once you have added that, and it'll look like what I got highlighted here, uh, save for wherever you installed it at in Steam. And now what we want to do is we want to go down and you want to turn triple buffering to on, and you want to turn vertical sync to on. Then you click apply, and that's all you need to do on the NVIDIA control panel. And again, for you AMD users, uh, do uh, what it is similar wise. And my apologies, I haven't owned an AMD card in a while. Okay, now we got that taken care of. 
Uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to download all the mods. I will have the mods below in the description with the links to download all of them. All of them will be from the Nexus website. You can create accounts for free for, on the Nexus site. It's completely free and the mods are free. Okay, the first one we want to go to is called the ISA FPS Hack. What this does is it increases the frame rate of the game. The PC version ends up running like 30 frames per second or less at times. <clears throat> this hack will bring it to where it increases it to at least 60, possibly more. I, I don't know how high the frame rate goes because my monitors are only in 60 FPS. But go ahead and click on the link to there. And then you want to download the manual download, the patch. Or excuse me, my fault, the patcher. Uh, this is the one you want. My apologies there. I, I forgot about this. And what this is, is an, it's an executable file. As a matter of fact, I'll show you. And right here, it'll download as isafpshack.exe. And I will show you how to use it after we uh, download all the mods. But it's the patchers, what we want. Uh, go ahead and click manual download. Slow download, unless you got the premium account. And just save it to a designated folder. Okay, the next um, mod we're gonna download is called Character Retexture HD. And uh, these are for, you know, looking at the characters in the menu and also in battle, in the, the, uh, the battle screen. And what you want to do is download the manual download of the 28 character pack in the files tab. So go ahead and click on manual download. Again, you know, for the free users, slow download and save it to wherever you have your folder at to save the uh, mod files at. Okay, the next one we'll download is key items high quality. Click on the files tab. Click on the download, uh, manual download underneath the uh, 2.0 high quality key items. And again, slow download and save it to wherever. The next mod will be Character Portraits AOE 3.0. Click on the File tab and click on Manual Download and then click on Download and save it to wherever. And the next uh, mod will be Cross Window Sets. And again, click the Files tab, click Manual Download, Slow Download and save it to wherever. The next mod is Field Model Replacement. And this is to do when you're out of battle and your characters are roaming around the world. This replaces the uh, models, the in-game models for that. And then again, uh, click Manual Download. And click Slow Download. And the one thing about this is on the files, uh, I failed to mention, but some of them, go ahead and rename them. And just, uh, you know, name them to like, uh, like field models or something that it'd be better recognized when you start uh, installing the mods. Because some of these uh, names um, just, you know, wish you'd wish to author it, you know, name them more appropriately. Okay, the next mod will be alternative HUD icons and subtle autosave. Essentially, it creates uh, more benign, you know, on screen icons to where it uh, makes the, the game a little more immersive. Click on the Files tab, click Manual Download. Okay. 
and then save it to your folder. The next mod will be Modern PlayStation Buttons, and this is optional. I have a PlayStation 4 controller myself, and I use it for some games, such as Chrono Cross. And if you do not have a PlayStation controller, you can skip this. But here's a look at the uh, what the screen will look like before you start the game up when you uh, select new game. Shows you the controls before you actually get into the game. And it changes the icons to look like PlayStation controller icons. And in this case, uh, modern PlayStation control is the PlayStation 4, even with the PlayStation 5 out. Go ahead and click on the Files tab, click Manual Download, and rinse and repeat likewise before. Okay, next, and this one is a definite game changer because it changes up the, uh, uh, the cutscenes where they don't look pixelated. In fact, they look quite smooth. Give you a little taste right here. Uh, the default uh, PC version of Chrono Cross, the, this, the cutscene like this one near the beginning of the game is pixelated. It looks like they took it out from the PlayStation version. This mod takes care of it and makes your cutscenes look a lot more gorgeous. Okay, now click on Files. And you want the snooty AI upscale one. Ignore the Switch version. You should be playing this game on PC anyways. Click on manual download and do the same thing. Rinse and repeat. Save it to your folder. All right, the next mod is AI Remastered Opening Movie. And this we will be installing after the Snooty AI upscaled because Snooty takes care of the opening movie, but the AI Remastered uh, goes a little bit further and makes it a little bit sharper, um, in my opinion. You don't necessarily need to download this one because the Snooty AI Upscale does a pretty good job as is. But if you'd like just a little extra, go ahead and download this one. All up to you. Go ahead and click on Manual Download and Rinse and Repeat. You know, slow download, save it up to your folder. The next mod is CC Arranged Background Music, or BGM. Click on the Files tab. And this one right here, the CCRDE BGM mod. Click Slow Download and save it to wherever. And the final mod is Weapons Retextured. And so click on the Files tab. Click on Manual Download, Rinse and Repeat, and that's the final mod we need to download. All right, once we have got those uh, downloaded, and I have renamed uh, some of these, and I advise you to do the same on the mods that you download. Some of them are not appropriately named, which will add to some confusion. So it's a good idea to change up the names overall to uh, have them so you will be able to open them up in order. All right, uh, the first thing we want to do is unzip the ISA FPS hack. And you just right click, select 7-zip or WinRAR if you have that, and then extract the files. And in this case, you should be able to extract them here. And I'm just going to say no to all because I already extracted it. And you should have this right here, ISA FPS hack.exe. Go ahead and double click on that. And for some reason, that window came off to the side. I have a two monitor setup, otherwise it would just come over here where you see it on the right side. Okay, now, like what we did in an NVIDIA control panel, we got to point to the right file. So click on select file and go to where the exe file is at and it may automatically pull it up like it did for me. And you want to select the chronocross.exe file. And then click open. And once uh, the, the uh, hourglass uh, icon goes away, then click patch. Then click OK, and that's all there is to it. Go ahead and close out of that. 
and you can go ahead and delete the extracted file and just leave the, uh, the zip file if you'd like. All right, uh, the next uh, mod we're gonna go ahead and do will be the Character Retextured HD. Now, um, what you might do is go ahead and create a new folder and just call it temp or whatever. Because some of these mods, uh, we need to have a, um, a folder to separate the extracted files in or otherwise you might end up with a mess and not get all the files um, to where you can copy them all without you know struggling a little bit so I, I did this for myself and I created a file called temp it'll make things a bit easier okay the character retextured HD file and uh, if it hasn't been named such uh, make sure you name it such and uh, I'm just opening up the archive to take a look and this is one of those files that you know I want to use with the temp file deal so I want to right click 7-zip and we want to extract files now I'll show where um, the path or where I have the zip file at and I'm just going to enter in temp to the end of that and it's going to extract it into the temp folder so go ahead and do that and after they've been extracted and you go into that folder and you got the files here I'm going to change this to list view now the next thing we want to do is we want to open the hd.dat file using 7-zip okay go into your game folder where uh, ever uh, chrono cross the radical dream or dreamers edition all in caps is at go into the folder then you want to go into the data folder and now there's the hd.dat file right there and you can open this with 7-zip so what we want to do is we want to right click 7-zip and, op and select open Ar archive do not extract the files the mods will not work if you try to extract the files, copy them over, and then try to re-zip them. It will not work. You will get glitches or your game will not run at all. All we want to do is to select Open Archive and let 7-Zip take care of this. Now, on this mod, we want to go into the menu. So double-click there. Double-click Player. Now go to where you unzip the files at, um, you know, going into the character retexture uh, folder. And then we want to select all of these. And the easiest way to do it is just click on one, then hold down control key and press the A key, and that'll select all. Now take your mouse cursor, hover it over one, and then press and hold the left mouse button and then drag all that into the window here on 7-zip. Click on yes. And it might take a little bit for the, uh, the copy over to take place. And then that's all you have to do there. All right, and then what you can do is you can go and uh, press backspace and go back to the original um, uh, folder as it were inside of 7-zip and go ahead and just leave that there okay go back one in the where you extracted the folders at and go ahead and delete the character texture HD and then go back one more to go back to where you got your mod files at the next one we're going to do is key items high quality Oh, my fault. Uh, go ahead and close out 7-zip uh, just in case. Uh, I don't remember whether you can have more than one instance of 7-zip. And feel free to comment in the comments section below if you can. I would be interested in knowing that. And uh, we're going to open up. And we see we've got a whole bunch more files there for the key items high quality. So we're going to accept, uh, right click, select 7-zip, and we're going to extract the files. And again, in my case, I'm just going to enter in temp on the end there, so it will extract all the files into the temp folder. And then we'll go into there, go into the folder there, 
and then uh, we're going to open back up the hd.dat with 7-zip by right-clicking and selecting 7-zip and open archive and then we're going to go into menu and key item and then come over here to where you unzip the files select one hold down control and hit the a key and now put your per, um, cursor over one of the files and click and hold the left mouse button and drag over into here select yes wait for that to finish and then hit the backspace key to go uh, twice to go back to the main section here and that's it for the key items high quality go ahead and delete that folder if you'd like next will be the character portraits aoe and i'm going to extract the files again into my temp folder and we're just going to go ahead and assume that for all the rest of the mods here and then go into character portraits aoe now the thing with the character portraits aoe do not copy over all these these files right here are the main ones but on the character portraits aoe uh, mod page it'll show you the alter uh, alternative uh, sets of files that you can use like if you want to use the dark alt for surge you can add that and all you have to do is just copy that um, uh, delete the like dark PNG and then uh, copy that over here I think and then here's some other alternatives if you want to add those as well but for me I just simply am going to be copying those but um, we'll come back here to the 7-zip file and then we want to go into face 2021 and then select all of these and click and drag over into the folder click yes and that's all there is to that delete that folder and go back to the main one click back on 7-zip and hit backspace twice and we're back to the main section okay and the next will be the cross window sets and go ahead and right click and 7-zip and you can sense this is pretty much a repeat of everything whoops and I just answered my own question on there apparently can have two different sets happening with the uh, two different instances with 7-zip perfectly fine with me all right and go ahead and extract those and now go into the cross window sets now right here you can click on this and see a preview of which set you would like to use you got one of six sets I myself have uh, installed the Isla set but uh, I'm going to go ahead and go through that but you pick whatever set you want so you click into the window sets and in my case I'm going to go with the Isla set and what you do is you're going to drag the folder itself window and just drag that over into the 7-zip window here click yes and there you go And then delete that and now for the next uh, mod which is field model replacement and we're going to extract the files and then go into the field model replacement and now each one of these have got to be individually dragged over so um, what we want to do is we want to go into field object folder and then we want to go in the player folder 
And then for each individual one of these, there are separate folders for them. So look up Jacodu and click into that. Then click and drag the Jacodu into there and click yes. Hit backspace once and look for the cell Jew. Click on there, then drag and click cell Jew and drag it over into there. Click yes. Hit backspace and then look for Yama Mako and click in there and then click and drag over into here and then click yes and then hit backspace uh, three times to go back to the main section and that's all there is to it on the field model replacement and go ahead and delete the folder All right, now we can close out the hd.dat because we're going to be opening up a different file this time around. Okay, what we want to do is we want to open up the ui.dat, right click 7-zip and open archive. And now the next mod we're going to be installing is the alternative HUD icons and subtle autosave. And we're going to right click on that, 7-zip, extract file, extract to your folder. And I clicked on the wrong thing there. And then all we need to do is select all of these and drag and drop into here. Click yes. And there you go. And then delete that folder. And now the next one we're going to be installing is the modern PlayStation buttons. Extract files to your folder of choice. And then in this case, go ahead and exit out of the UIDAT 7 zip folder. And then just simply drag the UI.dat over to your game folder where UI.dat is at and overwrite all. And go ahead back and delete that folder. Okay, and now the UI.dat, you can, uh, don't worry about opening that up. Now we want to open up the movie dot, uh, dot uh, dat and then the snooty AI upscale we're going to right click 7 zip and extract files and this might take a little longer because it's a much larger size and as I said previously this one makes the cutscenes look a whole lot better And this has even taken me a while, and I have four SSD drives in RAID 0. That tells you anything. So even with a single or maybe dual SSDs, expect this file to take a little bit to unpack. Okay, and this one, I completely forgot that that file was as is. Okay, scratch the, uh, having to open the movie.dat, just simply copy over the mod into your data folder of the Chrono Cross. And that takes care of that. Okay, now the next will be the AI Remastered Opening Movie. Go ahead and right click 7-zip, Extract Files.
And this is the one you install after the Snooty AI mod. Now in this one, we do have to open up the movie.dat file. So right click, select 7-zip and open archive. And then we copy or we drag over the mod file into there. Click yes. And this will take a little bit because this is a graphics mod per se. And again, uh, this is with me having four SSD drives in RAID 0. And this takes a little bit in and of itself. So imagine what it'll take like if you have anything other than an M.2 drive. Okay, almost done. Oops, go ahead and delete that folder. And now we're ready for the CC arranged uh, background music. 7-zip, we're gonna extract files into the temp folder, or for me at least. Go ahead and close out the 7-zip window because we're gonna open And uh, where we're going to go and open will be the cd-rom.dat folder. Right click, 7-zip, open archive. And then uh, we're going to go into sound and BGM. Now go into the folder where you extracted the uh, mod files at for the background music. Again, you can click on one file and then hold down control and hit the A key to select all. And then uh, have your mouse cursor over one file, uh, press and hold the left mouse button and drag over. Click yes. And there you go. Now uh, hit the backspace key and go back to the main um, area here on 7-zip and we got one more mod to take care of and that's the weapons retextured. Go ahead and delete the background mod folder since we're finished with that. And then uh, we're going to unzip the weapons retexture. And then go ahead and go into the weapons retexture. And now on the 7-zip, we got the cd-rom.dat um, file opened up with 7-zip still. Okay, we want to go into battle. Then weapon, but spelled W-E-P-O-N. And then um, put the new file, drag the new file or the mod file over into here and it'll replace the x.bin file. Click yes. And that is it. Go ahead and close out the 7-zip file. Go ahead and close out the game folder. Go ahead and delete the uh, file there. In fact, you can delete the like temp folder that you have um, used for uh, unzipping the mods with. All right, all that's left to do is just to start up the game, and so I will be doing that. Get my PlayStation 4 controller out and wait for it to connect. And you want to do that before you start any game in Steam if you want to use a controller. That way, you know, some games will recognize the controller. And now let's go ahead and play the game. Now we'll skip this first cutscene here.
new game. I prefer vibration function off, but that's to your taste, of course. And there's the PlayStation, uh, the modern PlayStation buttons mod. And I'll also show the PC controls if you decide to use the keyboard. And we're just going to leave his name as Surge. And look at this right here. This is the Snooty AI mod in effect. Before, this uh, cutscene was very pixelated, like they drew this right out of the uh, PlayStation 1 version. But it is so much better. Now the background textures may seem kind of normalized, but that's uh, because the mod author is still working on background textures. And once it gets it out of alpha stage and into a stable state, I will be installing that as well. Now one thing I'm going to show you is one of the mods was changing the framework of the, uh, uh, the default frame. And the game will usually take its own liberties as what frame starts up with, but we'll show you that, that uh, here in a bit. Let's go into the menu screen. Now the key item shows a little more detail there. That's a time shifter and that comes with the PC version of the game. I'm not sure about the console versions, the newer consoles that is. That gives you a chance to speed or slow the game. Okay, and the customize is the other thing I wanted to show. Window frame custom. And this right here is the one from the mod that I has installed for myself. Now, if you chose one of the others uh, of the six uh, frames out of the frame mod, uh, it'll show that there for you. Okay. All right. And I'll go ahead and show everything, including uh, a battle scene. See, I'm pretty sure I remember where to go here in Chrono Cross. And here we go, the first battle in the game, unless you skip this one. Ah, it didn't even need to be healed. All right. Let's see. Remember, come to the left, go back in. Because there's something we got to trigger before we can use the teleporter. And I think that should be around here. Okay, come back around. I'm going to try to skip the rest of the combats. We want to uh, 
fancy things. I still look forward to when those background uh, textures mod uh, gets finalized. There we go. And there's the new framework right there. I wonder how we even know what how you know it feels like for your body to pass through the floor. It's obviously a first time experience for everybody. Scenes, yeah, they look better. I would love to thank the PC modding community for all the great work they've done, making games better, more replayable, or playable in the first place. There's the background music. That sounds pretty good too. More of an orchestrated background music. All right. And that's pretty much it. And there you go. I hope this helps you one at all to help uh, mod up uh, Chrono Cross and make the experience much more enjoyable than it is from the original release for the PC by Square Enix. I mean, you know, if they're going to release it, in a sense I appreciate it for they made a PC version of a console game, that's perfectly fine. But you kind of wish they would have done at least a little work, at least with the cutscenes. But well, that's neither here nor there, thanks to the PC modding uh, community. They are awesome. Give them, your, give them your support. And you can also donate through the Nexus for mod authors that accept donations too. If you feel one mod has been worth, you know, throwing a few dollars towards mod, uh, mod author's way, do so. They greatly appreciate it. All right, there you go. I hope this enhances your enjoyment of Chrono Cross for the PC. God bless you one and all, and take care.